But the comeback for Kay happening today. He missed the U.S. Open because he had tested positive for COVID-19, could not travel to New York, able to come to Kitzbühel. Tough first-round match against Miramir Ketsmanovic, a 21-year-old at his career high right now. Yeah, this was really difficult. It was interesting because Kay started out great. He was up for love. I thought he was going to be rusty at the beginning. And it went backwards. He was fine at the beginning and then got worse and worse. And that serve was an indication of what was going on. He was winning only about 50% of his serve points. And Ketsmanovic did a terrific job staying in there mentally. Remember, let's not forget that Nishikori had that elbow procedure. That was the issue last year. And I just wonder how much he's feeling that on the serve. But for most times, he did some really good things. That, not so much. A little dink drop shot out of nowhere, which let Ketsmanovic get the lead. And third set was all Ketsmanovic. Credit to him, because he was very bumpy at the beginning. He's coming off a broken left hand. So this is the war of the wounded out here, these guys. <laughs> and uh, Kate was a little bit rusty, but some bright spots. But for Ketsmanovic, he just played better, second and third sets. All right, so here's the projected quarterfinals. Uh, none of these folks, uh, at least the top seeds, did not play today. We saw Hubert Hercotch coming through. Do you think this is how it's going to play out, or will it be a little bit different? Well, let's talk about the walking wounded. Let's continue that. Fabio Fonini had double arthroscopic ankle that surgery. Can't be easy. Double. In, I know. I mean, oh I've seen goodness. some of the stuff on social media. I also saw him hitting a while back. So, look, this is not going to be uh, an easy one for Fonini. To me, he's my favorite in here. Lindsay, anybody else jump out at you based on what? Well, interesting. You have a couple players that came from the Open. Diego Schwartzman might be one of those players that's so happy to be back on clay. All right, we'll see how it plays out right here on Tennis Channel throughout the week.